Ah. Mm. Uh. We'll go to the radio tower. Actually, let's go to the oasis first. Really fast. You notice the water behind me over here is actually decreasing. Go here. We fill the canteen. Attack the raiders. They come attack me. They try to attack me. It was a good chance to use our weapons. And see how they're good there. Okay. Oh, deep, uh, deep how? Deep hole, uh, deep how, right? Deep how? Yo, Spuds! Yes. Man, welcome back, man. Deep hole, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. And again, welcome to Falcon Arena. All right, uh, crouch. Compact mirror. Distribute. Oh boy. And turn. I got one more luck. Can I shoot him? Nope. I am too far. Anyways, let's get ready for an ambush. Get ready for an ambush. Just gets close. Beautiful. Beautiful, a glass eye. Distribute. Distribute. Perfect. Spuds, you're the man, man. You're the man. You have weapon skills and all that. Damn. I'm so jelly. There's nothing else around here. Yes. Exit the encounter. Now we head towards the radio tower. Okay, well, we're going to the radio tower for one thing, though. Because we found a hidden uh, hidden area, area there. Yeah, the chances of this place being changed, uh, I don't know. Yeah, a little good tuck, and that's it. Ooh. Crate. Good weapons. Ammo. The more the ammo, the better. Seriously, sometimes ammo is very scarce here. There we go. That's the area I'm looking for. You see a toaster right there. Right? And let's fix this toaster. We got a spray can. Spray paint. What can we do with a spray paint? Maybe if you, every time you fix a toaster, you get something special. I don't know. 
It's just me. Now let's let me increase the music a bit, at least the music, because I am like getting I don't, I'm not getting the eerie feeling. Now let's get out of here. I think we... Yeah, I already discovered every single third part over here. Up, 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 up. Another camp. The speed internet is interrupted. Uh, how so? Because I don't see any dropped frames from my side. Large ring, junk, uh, junk pants, and uh, yeah. More ammo. The more the ammo, the better. Okay, uh. We're up here. We already entered here. We already entered here. All this stuff is done. Yep. All we have to do is say goodbye! Oh, I have to say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Okay. Let me check what the missions are. All right, what is it? L. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Reactivate the AGC satellite dish in the ACR. Did I do that? No, I didn't. Oh. All right, and let's get a let's get a bit of our like speed. You see dangerous animals approaching. Attack. Dangerous animals making the approaches. Where are they? Ah. Encounter begins. Hello. Ready for an ambush. Oh, these things are getting a bit too close now. Wow, 30 damage? Should've known. Weapon jam lost control. Oh, that'd be too good. Really? Out of range?
Both of them miss. Oh god. Two times the bite. Ambush. And no use. Lay low. Ready for an ambush. Done. Beautiful. Uh, how do I play this game? Uh, it's on PC. You can get it on Steam. And you play it uh, as turn base. First, when you go to a new game, you, uh, you, uh, you do a new game, you have uh, four slots. One, two, three, four slots. You can either choose pre-made characters, or you can customize your own characters using attributes and skills. For example, let's take SW. His character, very nice cap, all that stuff, leather coat. Now you got your attributes. He's very good at um, coordination. Is good. You put a lot of good, a lot of good, a uh, lot of points in coordination. Some points in s in luck. A lot of coordinate. A lot of awareness. Good speed. Not good at intelligence. Not good charisma. Not good strength. So this is his attributes. Then you go to his skills. His skills. You put points in. Weapons like assault rifles, sniper rifles, weaponsmithing, being a hard ass, mechanic. They have like, so like 12 points and all that, and you put the points in all the like so weapon skills, general skills, and knowledge skills. And you have to customize each character depending on what you need in the team. Like, for instance, Spuds, he's power. He's just a brute force guy who comes in and beats everybody down. With a blunt, for, uh, blunt weapons and some machine guns. But if he wants, he can actually uh, divert himself into other skills. As for Zarin, he's some kind of a medic, a smart ass medic. Was good with blades and shotguns. As for Broshin, which is me, I'm good with handguns, lock picking, outdoorsman, assault rifle, demolitions, a lot of knowledge skills, not a lot of weapon skills though. I might just stick to the uh, handguns and I wish I could remove assault rifles. I might switch over to energy weapons soon. And you got a uh, character that you meet in game. These characters, you find them all, all over the place. They are There are over 300 characters you can actually talk to individual. Excellent, excellent knowledge. Oh. Surgeon five, 